Okay, so in this video we're going to be going over how to make proper pot PNGs with straight lines so that it's not all warped, how to make proper Dio skins, again, you can paint directly onto the character so it's not super warped, and the more advanced cosmetics, like adding models such as a Mario head. There will be timestamps slash chapters in this description if you're looking how to do one specific thing, you can click on them to fast forward to whichever part. For the sake of future proofing this video, please check the pinned comment for any extra information. First up, we'll do advanced pot skinning. Now don't worry, I have a Blender file that's gonna make this very easy for you. you. You barely even have to know how to use Blender. Just download Blender and then I will include this in the description and you just open up the pot painting to do a pot or the deal painting to do a deal skin. You might be wondering what's the reason we need to do advanced skinning? Well, because if you do it in Photoshop, you make this eyeball into a pot skin, this is what it looks like in game. It's all warped and wonky. And if you wanna put text, it's unreadable. Everything looks weird. But this way we're gonna be able to project images on perfectly. So when you open up the project, it should look exactly like this. To image project, all you have to do, boom, click. There we go. Now we have a perfect eye on the pot. That's how it'll look in the game. As you can see, it's pretty funky on the texture, but that's fine. To change the image to whatever you want, just click on this to open up the image. Browse to whatever picture you want to change it to. Say I want to do this, and then I can, boom, I put, a, put a 69 on there. Yep. Now to save your pot PNG, you just go to image, save as, name it whatever you want. I1. After you save the skin, of course, you go to Mod Pack, Mods. You can put it Deal Customizer or Pot Customizer, depending on what it is. I'll take this Pot I1 skin, move it in here. Boom, now it's in the game. Now, if you want to paint without an image, you can scroll up to the top here, delete the texture, go to this top little gear, and you can just use a regular brush. You can change the color to whatever you want. Say I want to do blue, darken it a little bit. Tooltip size is also here. Say we go down to 25 radius, boom, boom, blah, 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 whatever. We can draw in blue. Wow. So this is how you actually can draw on your model instead of in Photoshop where it doesn't match up. What I prefer to do is make my skin in Photoshop and then project the image directly onto the pot. Note that if you draw anything, you might want to set this texture back to white. Once that's back to white, you can change your texture. You can add your texture again. eye blah 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 now you can project and put tiny eyes because I have a small tooltip now there's about a lot of eyes on it important thing to note it should be set up as orthographic view when you open this up but just so you know clicking on this Y will switch to the front or rear view on orthographic camera you can also go to view perspective orthographic if you project like this you're gonna get a little bit of wonkiness if you keep it in orthographic and make sure you're on the Y axis of the front of the pot then you'll project perfect images that they will show in the game. Now again, same thing for Dio painting. Open the Blender file, it'll show up just like this. I already have a example image in here. You can just go bang, now he's 6'9", haha. <laughs> I made a tatted Dio where I put a bunch of tattoos all over him like this. Uh, again, this is an orthographic view from the front. However, the Dio model actually moves around so you can paint all over. Back, make sure he's got his armpits and everything, you know, good to go. Same things all apply, change the image. You can change the brush in here. Again, image, save as. Once you save it, move it into Dio Customizer, into here, and you got your skin in the game. Okay, now for the cosmetics. These are gonna be a little bit tougher, but it's not too hard. If you don't already have Unity, download Unity. This is the version of getting over it currently. Either download this version or an older version. Newer is probably fine, but I like to keep it the same just in case it causes any issues. Just create a new project, cosmetics, whatever you wanna call it, I already have one. Once you got your project, check the description for a link. I'll have the link to this folder. You're going to need the Cosmetics Editor Unity package made by Raj. Pro tip, if you use Google Drive, click on this button. The original view is terrible. Switch to list. Way better. Right click. Download. Once that's downloaded, let's go back to Unity. Go to Assets. Import Package. Custom Package. There it is, our Custom Editor Package. import everything okay let's go to scene open up the sample scene that Raj has here as you can see we have our do to reference off of here just gonna expand these okay now as an example I guess for this video I am going to make a Darth Vader skin 
Okay, so I got a Darth Vader model. Now, depending on what kind of model you get, you might not even have to use Blender, but I suggest opening it up, taking a look at the properties. And as you can see, this one has 750,000 vertices and 252,000 triangles. Now to make your game run a little better and optimize your models a little more, we can reduce the poly count on this. So I'm gonna go to File, Import, Object, because that's the type of file I have. Browse to the directory where my file, where my object is, Import. As you can see, this is taking a while because it has so many polygons. Now, I'm not great with Blender, but I believe you can click on the object. Go to this little wrench, which is Modifiers, Add Modifier, and there's a tool called Decimate. Currently, you can see it says 248,000 faces, and I believe this is a percentage, and you can just do 0.5 for 50%, and it'll go to half of that. Press enter, it takes a minute, and it now is reduced to half, and you can barely even tell the difference. So clearly the poly count is way too high on this. All right, so I now put it down to 0.05. This is 5% of the original poly count. It's at 12,000 faces as opposed to whatever it was, 250,000. That's a giant difference. Just gonna export my model again. Now you can see the massive difference in file size there. I'm gonna go back to my Unity project. Just gonna throw my Darth in here. Okay, now I'm just going to throw that in our scene. Um, when I exported the model, I had a light on it. Hang on. You can actually right-click, go to Prefab, and unpack completely. That'll separate everything in your Prefab. going to delete the light, delete the eyes, and delete the camera. We don't need any of that. We just need our Darth here. Gonna turn him around. That's too big, so I'm gonna scale it. And what I like to do is do two scenes, put them side by side. I'll put one on the side view and then one on the front view. Then I can see if his nose is sticking out and so on, and pick a good size for it. Now this particular model did not come with a texture. It also appears to have a hole in it. I'll have to fix that later. Uh, so since this one has no material, right click, create, material. Put it on the Darth. Gonna make that a specular shader. You shouldn't have to do this if you get a pre-skinned model. I'm just gonna make it pure black. I'm gonna make it really shiny or I'm gonna make it really dull. Once you're satisfied with your model and your placement, you're going to want to put it inside the bone that it is going to be connected to. So, inside the neck is the head, so I want to put this inside of the head. Then you're going to want to browse to the scripts folder and take this prop identifier, put it onto your prop. If you have multiple props, I suggest putting them all inside of the main one, and then you can only have to put your prop identifier once. Once it is where you want it, inside the bone you want it attached to, and you have added the prop identifier script to it, just create a new folder. Name doesn't really matter. Call it Darth. Now this part's very important, don't forget. You need to add an asset bundle label. We're going to do new. Not letting me type, do that again. Click on this, go to new. Darth, enter. Cosmetic. And then we're going to take our object and we're going to drag it into the folder and it's going to create a prefab with the prop identifier script on it. Now you can go back and this Darth folder that we have our asset label on, right click, build cosmetic. Might take a bit depending on the model. Once that's done, I'm going to go back to assets and right click show and explore. Then we'll go into the bundles folder. And right here we have the darth.cosmetic file. This is the only one you're going to need. And again, same as the pot PNGs and the deal skins, you're going to want to go to mod pack, mods, cosmetics, and this is where you put your cosmetics. If this folder does not exist, just create it. I'm going to take the darth cosmetic, copy it in here, and try it out. There's our pot i1 we made compared to the wonky one. As you can see, much nicer in-game. Then we'll go to our cosmetics and find our Darth. 
Boom. There we go. Now I just need to make a skin so it doesn't look so terrible because it's on Mario. Some other examples, I made the Mario one. As you can see, I made a skin to go with the head so it matches up nicely. And I even made a pipe pot. As I said, you can put things on any bone. It doesn't have to be the head. You can attach things to the arms, to his boobies, to anywhere you want. You just have to extend these out. Left arm, left shoulder, left forearm, left hand, etc. An example of a more advanced one is this Steve one I created. I made blocks for the arms and the body and the head. As you can see, it's pretty jank, but uh, you know, got the job done. It's not a full model replacement, but it's, it's pretty close. For it to look decent, it has to fully encase the body, but you could still attach props to anything if you want. You can give him a watch, you know, a necklace, you can hang something off his body. It's a little more extreme example if you want to do multiple cosmetics. So I've got all these Steve objects. They all have the prop identifier. They are inside the right objects. This one's inside the forearm, this one's inside the arm, this one's inside the head, this one's inside the body, so on and so forth. Now each of those cosmetics drag into your folder. You can see I have all the parts that I've attached to the body. Again, then the folder. Make a name. Make a name for it. Cosmetic. Right click. Build. Same process. Here's a fireman. Here's the classic gas mask. I brought it back. I brought the knuckles back. You can pair it with the knuckles skin. There you go. You've gone to knuckles. He will show you the way. Lastly, again, for the sake of future proofing, make sure you check the, f the pin comment if anything has changed. As of right now, to have all these mods in one, including the level loader, you need to install Anjo's mod pack first, and then you need to install Nameless's additional assembly to include some of the extra mods, like the cosmetics. In the future, it may be built into the mod pack. I will put these instructions in the description, as well as you could just join my Discord. And as of right now, this is pinned in my general chat. This also includes a link to where you can download cosmetics. These are all the ones I've made, plus a few more that I might collect from the community. Anyway, hope to see you guys make some cool things. Looks like someone just made an Iron Man mask that opens. That's pretty cool. Apparently you can apply animations and they work.